Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Welcome. This is Cooking with Chris. And Shelby. And today we are going to be making some delectable nori sheet wrap sushi rolls with vegetables. Today we'll be making our cauliflower sushi rolls. So what are some of the vegetables we're gonna be putting in there? So we'll have uh, red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, avocado, green onions, of course our cauliflower rice, and purple cabbage and greens of your choice. Okay, that sounds amazing. I look forward to diving in and eating it. But before we get started, let's briefly talk about the importance of the ingredients and why we're using some of these alternatives instead of the traditional foods you would typically use for sushi. Okay, that's a great question. And one thing I forgot with the nori wraps, which is the green seaweed that you see on the outside. So it's very important to me um, to use fresh vegetables, uh, the cauliflower as opposed to the rice to reduce the starch and the sugars. Um, and just a, this is a nice raw food alternative to your traditional sushi uh, that you may be um, accustomed to. So it's all about finding foods that you enjoy, but being able to make it healthy. And that's what we're doing here today. So we've got the, the sea vegetable, which is your wrap, and that's traditional with your sushi. But then we've replaced the rice with the cauliflower, and then you can season the cauliflower, right? All right. I like to put garlic in my um, cauliflower. It's completely up to you how you would like to do it. You can also season it how you like. Uh, today, I'm just gonna give it give you a very raw version and you can season it to taste. But I did sprinkle a little garlic in mine uh, when I did, did some prepping. One last point, when we're talking about raw food, the greatest benefit of raw food is it aids tremendously in digestion. And also remember the nutrient that you really get from food is from the energetic content in the food. So when it comes to raw food, it's got the highest energetic content. And you guys already know I'm huge on hydration. It also has the highest hydration levels. So let's get into this. For our measurements, we have one cup of cauliflower rice. We have one whole avocado. We have a half cup of our greens, a half cup of cut red cabbage, a half a cup of both the red and yellow bell peppers, and about a third a cup of green onions. Okay, so we have our vegetables prepped, and we have our nori sheet here on our sushi mat. The first thing we want to do is layer a, uh, a nice amount of cauliflower rice. And all I did was take that cauliflower and put it in a food processor. If you don't have one, that's perfectly fine. Just get a knife and chop it as finely as you like to. All right, next I'm going to put a layer of my greens. And you really want to focus uh, on the in the center of your uh, sushi wrap. Next, I am going to put down a few cucumber. I follow up with some red bell pepper. And then our yellow bell pepper. Then we'll put some green onions on there. We'll do our purple cabbage. And then finally, I will close it out with a few strips of avocado. Okay, now we're going to roll. So toward the end, you're gonna want your nori wrap to connect. So what I have here is a little water and I put it on my fingers and I just go down the edge. You don't want to oversaturate it, but just enough. It's like a paste to keep it closed. And once it's rolled, you wanna let it sit for a little while. And if you're not in a rush to eat it, you can actually put it in the refrigerator for a bit to make it easier to cut, or you can eat it as a burrito. So you want to try to get it as tight as you can. So I'm using the roller but I'm also gonna use my fingers to get it nice and tight. And as if you use a roller, as you use it, you don't wanna get it underneath where you're actually, where your food is. So as you roll, you're gonna pull it up a bit. And I'm just gonna roll it all the way around. So it's closed and that's it. So let's take a bite. But before we take a bite, 
I mentioned when we were putting them together that you can do a burrito or you can do it in the traditional sushi style. So I'm going to try one. Take a little dip. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This amino acid, this coconut amino acid is actually really good. A great healthy alternative to soy sauce. That's right. All right, so make sure to comment, like, subscribe if you guys haven't already. This is delicious. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.